I'm really excited that I get to hear the piece in six different ways um, as a composer. It's a rare treat that we get a chance to do that, um, especially in one day. So I'm actually super excited about it. My name is Angelica Negron and I'm a composer. I was born and raised in the island um, of Puerto Rico in the Caribbean. And I grew up playing uh, violin. Um, I was just very distracted in the orchestra, kind of like looking at the percussion and what they were doing and hearing the chords and the brass. And, um, but I had no idea what that meant for me. So it took me a little while to find out that what I wanted to do was not to be a violinist, but to write for all the instruments and, and be a composer. But I didn't know you could be a composer because I never played anything by someone that was alive. I want to find like a few different pitches. I need a mallet first, so. So when I was commissioned to write a piece for, for the Malco competition, I immediately thought that I needed to, to write a lot of challenges for the conductor. And then my creative process doesn't work really well with um, having those parameters. So I, um, I was really stuck and then I decided to just write what I wanted to write. I'm inspired by my family, by, um, by the sounds around me, by my dog, by um, people talking, really anything that that's, gets my curiosity going. Oh, these two are nice. Yeah, that's a cool sound too. I think people can listen for the contrast um, of long sustained tones and more kind of fast repeated gestures that come up a lot. Those two things are almost always um, playing with each other. Wow, <laughs> they're like very in tune. Towards the middle of the piece, there's a, a moment that is very rhythmic, and um, I, I think of it as kind of like you're exploring a, a rainforest almost. There's like a kind of an inherent Caribbean sensibility of, of syncopation that um, it's it's sometimes hard to get. Um, so I'm I'm curious to to see how how they interpret that. I keep using this as like a. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I'm just Puerto Rican, that's what we do with our hands. We move them a lot. 